Hello, so this will be a new player guide, meaning you'll learn all of the basic mechanics of the game and what the purpose of the game is, and also a lot of other tips. Now, I haven't played a lot myself, so I'll have to update through multiple videos and guides as I go along. So the basic purpose of the game is easy, going to the mines. The premise of the game is also pretty easy, going to the mines, get stuff, come out of the mines, build stuff, go back inside, come back again, make some supplies, go back again, it's pretty easy, but... There are a lot of nonsense to all of this, especially because we have over here three things, craft, recycle and research. So in my opinion you should get the best equipment you can in the beginning, meaning the armored helmets and the other stuff, go back into the mines, get some more stuff and come out, back out. But there's a cache to this, it's, everything is on an internal timer, so sadly you will need to use credits for everything you do. Later on you'll, have, you'll be able to get credits by recycling stuff for the colony and by selling stuff and through quests and some other means. But in the beginning, just try to recycle everything, you'll see how much you have of everything over here in the recycle, but you don't really need to recycle every item as soon as you get them, just put them in your personal stash and do it later. I think I have enough wooden planks or enough fiber or enough of the other stuff, especially enough metal. See where it is. Nanocellulose, which can be broken down into phytochemical, which is one of the components needed to run the colony. And I guess this is the hard part because it's not really explained anywhere, but let's go a little slower this time. So you get something, you break it down to nanocellulose, which is fiber. I guess it's kind of makes sense if you think about it but I mean this is game logic so it will be a little harder so let's go over this so let's say you have something like this it will give you fiber fiber can be broken down into nanocellulose and then the nanocellulose can be broken down into phytochemical and then the phytochemical can be used over here in the camp management to produce water so as you can see to produce water you need, well, okay, over here, phytochemical. So 10 phytochemical means 100 water. To produce this, you need power. To produce the power, you need the methane fuel. To make the methane fuel, you need to mine the methane. Let's go over, over here so it's a little easier to understand. Well, I guess I have some in my inventory over here as well. To mine the methane, which is methane ore. Which if you recycle you'll get metal methane fuel, but that's a bit later once you go deeper into the mine and uncover some technology, do some quests and some other things. So in the beginning of the game, it's a bit limiting because you don't understand what you have to do. So we have went through, we went through to the through the basics to create water. And that's pretty hard to do, right? Right. And yeah, it's going to take a lot of resources and a lot of know-how and a lot of knowledge. As you can see, this will go much lower and much deeper than this. And you also will need to install you need to install L filters if you want and also provide power. As you can see, the infection increase rate is kind of low now, but the infection level is 9%. So the more time you waste doing other things instead of just harvesting and scavenging in the mines, the stronger the enemies will become to the point where the enemies in the mines will change completely. So in the beginning you might have zombies and after a while you might have big tanky enemies that will destroy you once you, once you see them. And this is how the resources work for everything. Exactly like that for the bio farm. You can actually extract it. Well, for the bio farm, I think it's a little easier because... <sighs> Let's go to the recycling again. For example, tissue extract, osseous extract and the other stuff. Blood extract. They make organic fertilizer. But be super careful because those things are also needed to craft steams. Also to craft the first aid kits. Blood, osseous and tissue. So don't recycle everything for the cam needs, because basically if you recycle for the cam needs, that means you're not recycling and not keeping enough for yourself, maybe. So, as you can see, you can also make energy drinks, splints, bandages and a lot of other things that we'll need for our future adventures, especially because this, the healing system or the health system is just as complex as Quasimorph and Stone Shark combined, so it will be a little harder in the beginning to understand the basics of it. So you recycle the mutant parts to get the stuff over there. So as you can see, I still have a lot of things to recycle. And it's kind of annoying because I want to recycle everything. But as you can see, they cost a little bit of money. So it's not a very good idea to recycle everything as fast as possible. So just wait a little bit on that. 
Now we have went through the basics of the game, meaning how do you progress, how do you advance, how do you maintain the colony, how do you do other stuff. Uh, the hard part is actually the research in a way, because research needs a lot of money. Now as you can see you have this thing over here, the makeshift sky, but you are unable to craft or to research it. Well that means you need to research this over here. Which you need refined copper. Refined copper you'll find by just exploring the mines deeper. After you get the refined copper, you can use it to upgrade stuff in your base after you produce it, and then you can produce advanced versions of these things. And as you can see, even if you get a 4% increase in mining efficiency, that's a lot. Even if you get 100 more, uh, I don't know, charge on an item, that's still a lot because it will help you survive longer, better, and safer in the mines. But there is also another catch. For example, if you research, let's say, uh, duct tape club or other things, you'll get better weapon versions. And I did that and guess what happened? I got... You can also research the makeshift rifle, handmade rifle, and you'll get the standard rifle. But to make the standard rifle, you'll need the copper, the refined copper. But that means that was a, basically a mistake. Because since I cannot make the refined copper, I don't need to research the standard rifle just yet. So you need to save money to research the thing, the tools that will help you survive and also the weapons and the armor. But at the same time, <laughs> you kind of need to know what to research a little bit ahead. But uh, you probably just want to save the game, research it and then load the game back. And if you cannot build it, there is no point in researching it. So yeah, basically I'm wearing the best equipment that you can get in the beginning. And this is your how your character should look before you step into the mines. Even this is pretty hard to do. I'll not go over the basic of the healing or the other stuff because you need a little bit of everything. And they also said they will increase the size of the inventory for usables. Also there are some other tips I would like to talk about and one of those tips is related to how much time you have to finish the game. So remember that the game has two internal timers. One for the enemy strength so they get stronger over time. And two is basically kind of like your own... Uh, how should I put that? Uh, your own timer because... The enemies, yes, will get stronger over time as well, but you also will need to complete certain tasks, otherwise you'll kind of be left behind. It's kind of like a double-edged thing, plus you'll run out of resources. So you have a few internal timers that are not shown here, but you need to take them into consideration. So, you can either go, let's say, let's speak about selling items, because that's an important part as well. So let's say this rifle is worth 82, right? Let's go outside and sell it. There are a few vendors that will buy it. Again, it depends on what you sell, to who you sell, when you sell. Usually people in the engineering will buy that stuff. And the trader is that girl. Now, you can also search with the journal over here because you'll have everyone's name over here. Sadly, I don't think they made this the right way because you don't know who will be the, the main hub trader. I guess at some point you learn them, but usually the person who is in charge of selling and buying stuff from here is underground. Yeah, that's her. Judith. Judith Taggart. And as you can see, this is worth 69 over here. So as you can see, the item is not selling at full price, plus you'll have some discounts and some other things over here. You buy for 54. You sell for 16, so it's not worth making stuff to sell stuff because it's just too cheap right now. So you might as well think as money as another resource, another very very important resource, but there is more to this. Now as you can see this is 69 over here, but you know where I started? At the kiosk, and the kiosk is kind of like a fast vending option. Because if you just craft everything, you'll notice that you need a lot of time, so sometimes you just need to... I don't know, you didn't plan to make 50 more ammo, but you need 50 more ammo, so you want to craft that immediately. Let's go back over here in storage and let's check the price again. So this is 61. So as you can see, you can sell everything you want to the kiosk and you'll still get money for it. But you might not get as much if you, if you sell it to the good trader. So for example, if you want to sell food, it's better to sell it to Alp, the cook. You'll get more money out of it. But even if you sell it over here, that's not so bad because over here you have everything you need. So it might be better to go to each individual trader to sell stuff and buy basic things, but over here, 
you already have the things you need. So I guess it's a win-win situation. Plus you also have some oxygen canisters, even though they're, if they're not completely filled up, it's going to be much faster to simply buy everything. So for example, buy the repair kits, the ammunition, the oxygen canisters, the nanobot booster, if you want, the steams, but the energy shield. And you can just buy and sell things from here in the beginning of the game because that's a massive uh, save of time. You'll be, saying you're, you'll be saving yourself a lot of time by doing this in the beginning. Now, as for the later parts of the game, I think in the later parts of the game it will just be better to sell and buy from the specific traders and to have a little more patience. But in the beginning of the game, it seems like there is not really a reason not to buy and sell from here. I mean, you can even buy the crowbars and some other stuff over here as well. Also the rifle bullets. So, let's say 50 bullets are... 62 right let me see i want to buy the bullets actually didn't okay right click so that's 50 bullets that's 62 that's super cheap let's see what it means to craft the bullets craft the bullets let's say 50 bullets you would need 50. So as you can see, you paid 12 credits more, but at the same time, that was instant. So let's just wait a little bit. So you can see what I mean. You don't really have a turn over here, but as you can see, I think it's day 13 or something like that, because it's per day. And that's how much time I wasted just waiting for the bullets to be made. I think that's a mistake. I think I should have noticed this in the beginning of the game, but how can you notice something that is so well hidden, I guess? <laughs> Anyway, that's kind of like everything I wanted to say for the beginning of the game. By st anyway, let's not get going. Let's get ready for the adventure. Let's get ready to go back in there. So, as you see, I have no reason to research the battle rifle because I cannot craft the battle rifle. So, that will be a waste of my money in a way. Plus, another waste of my other resources. But yeah, I, I hope this makes sense. So. I probably want a two-handed melee just because I want my character to be proficient in two-handed melee weapons and also big guns. Not one-handed and pistols, but two-handed melee weapons, two-handed ranged weapons. So what can I research from here? I can research the, a better version of the helmet, which would be good, but from what I saw, you can actually craft some stuff from the monster parts. So. It's kind of a hit and miss because the corpse boots are actually excellent because they give you some stats. Yeah, they decrease your nano bot power, but do you really need it? That will increase your attack range, accuracy, critical efficiency, dodge chance, I, you know, increases a lot of stuff. And those boots are much better than what you have, so... I think I'll just craft the boots because remember, if you're using ranged weapons, you'll not lose durability on your equipment, which is another way to save a bit of money. So let's make those. I don't think I want the shield even though it's pretty strong. Block chance is 12, block power is 5. Hmm. I guess we might need it in the beginning. We can also research it. If it has the research icon, I think you need to craft it once and then if you craft it once, you don't need to put it in the storage, you can research it. But again, that's a little bit annoying as well. So, let me see. I probably also want to craft a lot of things. But you might not have the money on your way there. I want to craft a bandage. I have enough first aid kits. Probably an uh, energy drink. Flipping bag. Yeah, I'm not sure that will work as intended. Another oxygen canister. Where are the flashlights? I need the flashlights <clears throat> or the lamps, okay? That's enough. Let's go over here and we'll sell most of the things that we don't need. Also, as you can see, we have your personal container over here as well. So, guess what? <laughs> Junk goes in. Also, we need to put this inside there because we can research them. And this is again the weird part of the game. You know what, just store all of those materials as well over there. Seems I don't think I'll be using the claw chops. I think they are very good, but they're a bit situational. 
SC neutralizer. Probably I should. Yeah, I should look at all of this as well. As you can see, we got some very good health kits and stuff. As they say over here, you should probably save them for later. I'll only keep one to take with me. As I say that, I immediately put that in my inventory. Okay, this is also pretty annoying. Because you need to click and... I don't know why the developers don't allow you to do this, but if you click and drag, you cannot put them in the other slot. You have to click, pick the item up, and then you can drag it. Which is the same as click and drag, but with more steps. And sometimes I'll forget about this and I'll try to drag them and I'll say, oh no, it cannot be done yet. I know, I'm making a lot of mistakes as well. That's anti-toxin. You also need the anti-toxins in there. Not sure how many resources we'll need inside. So, currently we have nothing that requires a skill. That requires adrenaline. So, let's put these things over here. I don't think we'll need two of them again. I will try to use range combat as much as I can. Now, what do I need to take out? Food, food, we have enough. Water, we might need a little bit of water. Or centipede juice. I will just take the water that has a few uses left. That will be more than enough. 31%, oh, that's 40. No. It's also per turn, so we don't get it immediately, so I guess that's not wasting anything. So we're getting ready. As you can see, I'm trying my best to fill up my stats before I go. And then I'll go over here and sell some of the junk items like the pipes and wrenches and <laughs> the slingshot. I think I made too many, too much ammo for it anyway. All pistol ammo. Uh, yeah, this will have to be in storage. Now let me see what I have in storage that I can take out. I wish it was a little easier to see what the items are per se. So where do the things go? For example, if I put one over here, where it will go? It will go over here at equipment. I guess that's another way to do it in case you forget. Uh, why do I have two rifles? Because you can only repair this rifle two or three times basically. So you always have to... Okay, another tip. You have to repair them when they're below 50%. Because if you repair something at 50, that means it will have 70 back. So that's kind of losing a little bit of repair efficiency. So I don't like that. So let's use this. 58 out of 81. So never repair if it's maxed out. So if it's 58 out of 81 is good. But if, if it's 81 out of 81, that means you might have lost some value over time. I don't know. You, you get the idea. Always repair that in a way that you have less than max durability because that means you are very efficient. So yeah, we'll have the rifle with us just in case we run out of... I mean, it basically will crumble in our hands. As for the lamps and the other stuff, well, we need a lot more. And you have to recycle these things. Sadly, there's no easy way around it. You have to recycle the stuff. Yeah, this is going to be very annoying to look at. Do I have enough oxygen? You can just leave them over there since they don't consume if you don't turn it on. Turn it off while you are here. Oxygen will not be used either way. And yeah, you can sell basically everything here, but sadly you lose a lot of money at some point. Now, I'm not, I don't have a lot of expensive equipment in the beginning, so that's okay. I can do it like this. More lamps, please. I probably want another pickaxe, but I can also buy a few repair kits if I want. Running efficiency, it's 10. Again, I'm not sure what I'll find over there, but I guess I can buy it and then throw it away if I don't need it. 
But you know what, actually I'll stop on that because it's these things are all at max durability. So if I need something, I'll just have to use a repair kit on them. Anything else I need? I mean, we even have a sleeping bag that we can buy. Yeah, bullets. Buy all of the bullets it has. I'm not sure how often they restock, but if you have seen my other adventure, I almost ran out of bullets. And that would have been a terrible thing to run out of. If I remember correctly, you can, oh, yeah. you can put the bullets on the hotbar. And that will allow you to reload a lot easier. Huh, anyway, there are still some things that developers could fix here and there, but most of the times you will not have many problems. Okay, so four lanterns. I think I would be. I will feel better if I had one more. Corpse boots. Yeah, I guess you can wait until the corp boots are ready. Seems like the lamps will go. will be emptied before. The oxygen canisters because sometimes you'll have extra oxygen. Energy drink has been completed. So let's get that lamp as well. As for the energy drink, well let me see what it is. I might I have a feeling I might need it. It does occupy a bit of space, so eh, that's going to be annoying. Also, I'm just waiting for the corpse boots right now. And also, I want a two-handed melee weapon. I'm not sure if I'll get it today, but it's okay. I should also recycle all of that, but I just don't have the time for it. See, this is actually a pretty good pair of boots, but this is so much better. 15 protection versus 7. Plus extra agility. Extra stats are amazing in this game, so let's put that over there. And craft a new item or do it yourself hammer. Let's see what that's all about. Sorry, I'm staying too much in here. I guess it's a normal two-handed melee weapon, which I probably will make a two-handed melee weapon because it has a fracture damage. The other ones will have counter chance and dodge chance. Again, I don't want to get into all of that. We'll get into that a little later. The developers are actively patching the game and balancing it. Uh, the only thing I probably want at this point is another bandage. I don't think we'll have many fractures, but bandage. Well, bandages are. Uh, okay, let's put that over there. Let's take that over there. That over there. I don't think we'll have many encounters like this because in the beginning the game is not so. The game is not so rough and unforgiving in the beginning. <laughs> also, you saw that you can replace your nano energy with boosters from there, but I don't think we'll want to use a lot of nano skills. So let's save the game. And we'll. He mostly researching and doing stuff in the mines. Okay, so before I leave, I also want to point you to the next tip or not the next tip, the next objective, which is researching the nano stuff we got. Are we really so poor? Really, we are really, 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 really poor. I guess I can sell the pistol if I want. We also have another pistol with us, just as a secondary weapon, because it does a lot more damage. I don't really want to use the pistol, but... Just like it will work as a secondary weapon. Yeah, so let's sell this one. Yeah, probably it was not worth doing it like that. Anyway, yeah, it's... Then one of those games where you'll make mistakes, you'll have fun, you'll learn, you won't do that mistake again. A vocal sack. Also, you probably want to research the mutant hide so you get some bonuses against them. Physical modules, nano modules, and special modules. So, as you can see, the color indicates what you can craft or what you can research. I guess I want special modules. Uh, over here the main story, residential, current task from the past, track the task, go to another ground. Uh, another problem is that it doesn't really say what your tasks are. Find another air, find another thing, find another thing. 
Anyway. I think I've explained enough. Let's just go back there before I lose my mind because I don't really like games that simply have a lot of... Um, how should I put it? A lot of management, but this one is particularly nice because it seems like everything is front-loaded and after I do all of this stuff I'll basically be free to do the, the interesting stuff. Rats, so you... wow, okay, that's annoying. If you click on it, okay. Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk the worst place to start the dialogue with that thing also this is like stone shard if you know stone shard you can use middle mouse button to move the map around thank you whoever reminded me of that i think i did it once but one of those games where you do something once and you forget about it also have a map but i'm not sure how this works i guess you have to click on the map and then the distance area yeah you need to look at it from this side from what I can see, I have searched everywhere on the map and we have to go to the second level, which is the residence area. And we might... I might have missed a door or something there. Who knows? Who knows? Pistol? Yeah, we're a bit tired. I guess I should have... <laughs> you should also take a nap before you come down here, but that's why I have the energy drink. Dave, and I really want to do most of the stuff I wanted. Finish some of these quests. Never walk without your lantern on, because it actually is a lot of extra visibility. So I searched all of those rooms. What am I missing over here? Seems like there might be something at the end of the hallway. Maybe. Right, let's just quick save and then quick load if we are not there. Because as you saw, the infection is always going to keep rising until the point. Or up to the point where you can no longer handle the current floor without better stuff. This is the air filter. There's another hallway over there, wow. If you miss that, you'll be completely lost. So be careful, because you also find key cards and some other stuff that will help navigate. 46. Do we have multiple ways of fire? Or not multiple ways of fire? Firing modes. And uh, strange dark energy courses through your veins, which glow. Green for your skin, it hurts, but only to a small degree for a moment. It's happening, I got hit by a monster and it feels like my body is attacking itself. The raccoon that might... What? Environmental nanobots are not infecting me, but direct contact might infect me. Guide nano infection. <sighs> oh, I guess it's not so bad since I don't really need the nano regeneration. If you 
If you see an enemy, you can shoot at it. Back over there to reload. Yeah, I'll go, but I'll not go empty-handed. This is a treasure trove. Well, it's the treasure trove of junk items, as you can see, I'm barely getting anything usable. Oh no. Okay, can you... Well, I guess you cannot. As you can see, our shooting skills have become much better. Imagine what armor can do with a real weapon. Oh, okay, that's nice. I guess we're picking up a lot of tags. Uh, that's only for the when you begin another game. I don't think it will help us now. Anyway, it's poorly explained what the tags actually do. Oh, okay, so these are just layer upon layer of broken down equipment that I can use or that I can loot well this is getting kind of scary also when you're down here if you don't have credits you cannot research new things which is another reason why you should always have credits because i'm down here and i have nothing to do okay i should research something research what with my two pennies i have only two pennies to rub together so it makes a sound but nothing else okay so east mines area a mine okay Darkness. I can also you see over here how much you have on the charge. But you can just open the inventory. I just like to open the inventory because it's much faster and I think what what is that? Why is it moving? And I think that will be copper ore which you can use. We'll be under here material. You can get res uh, refined copper, so that's what we need for the new gun. Ouch! I'm not a fan of that plant. You have an acid. I guess that's why you have the acid neutralizer. Says depleted. You even have water. I'm uh, scared of going through here. As you can see, everything is hostile to you. Cannibal spike. Oh, I don't like those things. Everything is poisonous, acidic, or has spikes in here. Okay, that took a lot more shots than I imagined. Mm. I'm not sure about the hidden stuff. It doesn't seem to do anything. That's a lot of methane. I don't know. Also a very good idea to mine everything because it comes back after a while. That's oh, that's just cotton. It's normal cotton. It's not poisonous. It's not radioactive. It's not going to bite me. It's not going to stab me. But that thing is going to stab me. Lotus. Oh, we even have lotus. So 
We have a bunch of beautiful and interesting earth stuff and also a lot of weird alien stuff that wants to kill me. What am I doing over here? I'm trying to go back only after I have about 500 credits so I can research and also produce the better rifle because the one I have right now, it will, it will not cut the mustard. <laughs> As they used to say in old America. I hate that. I hate this... Uh, what was, was it called anyway? This phrase, but I watched it in a cartoon recently and it made sense in the cartoon. Our current weapon will not cut the mustard. Those explode. Blastberry. Hmm. That seems like it's going to hurt me badly. Oh, mushroom. Simple, good mushroom. Also, our gun must be getting pretty, pretty low. So it has 28 durability. So I guess at this point I should repair it. 58 out of 65. Sure. Somehow I was losing, I was losing, uh, it was harder to hit the closer it got to me. Yeah, you get a lot of wild. I'm scared without a lamp. I guess we need to turn it back on. But I guess it's fiber which can be transformed. Yeah, the exclamation mark means there's an enemy on my side radius. As you can see, I'm trying to map out the layout of the level just by hugging the wall so I know where the dead ends are. I don't trust this at all. This is what I mean. You can miss an entire mining node if you're not looking that particular direction the moment you are in that area. Like we had mining droids and other all kinds of other stuff. That body with a large hole on its back. I think this is an area where you can interact with special equipment. There is some special equipment from what I know. I just don't know how to get it, when to get it, how it will help me in some other ways and some other things. Oxygen is very bad over here, so I guess it will consume the oxygen canister much faster if it's low purity oxygen. Okay. Let's, mental, let's make a mental note of that. Let's keep going. What? I'm trying... Wow, why is this so hard? I was trying to click on the thing, but it didn't work. This game is so hostile, I love it. I 
I should also probably look at my skills. No, where is it? Oh yeah, over here. Survival, because I really, really want to get some of these perks invested into resource gathering. Okay, that was a acid bath. It was depleted. I guess I should have eaten something to help me resist the acid. Like that thing. Well, I guess we have to, yeah, we have to cure it. And just spray yourself with a little acid neutralizer, it will be fine. Purple nano plant. I don't trust this. I think I need more bullets. Yeah, I don't like how the bullets don't stack properly like that. Real shot, okay. So how are you supposed to do this? I don't get it. I guess you're supposed to take the item out and put another fresh one in. Oh, you're supposed to click and drag. Wow, that's so... Well, I guess it makes sense once you understand why it's like that or how. You have enough durability. I guess we just... Push forward. Why am I saving so much? I don't need to save scum because I'm perfectly, perfectly safe over here. I will only leave the mine after I mined most of the stuff. Hey, imagine how strong we'll be when you actually have a proper rifle. That's just, I don't know, it looks fancy, but it's not that fancy. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh. I wish it was a little easier to see when a node was depleted. The game is telling me that there is an exit through here. Not sure if I should believe it or maybe it's a trap. Oh, oh, two! Wow, the game does a very poor job of telling me that. I guess that will slowly go away as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of annoying, but I see why it's like that. I didn't hear the notification. Maybe I was fighting and that's why I didn't hear it. Can you also turn your character to look at a different direction or do you have to always move in that direction? Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Looks like the fire is only on for two turns or something like that. Looks like we have arrived at another electrical or uh, filtering station, air filter station. I remember these mines will be populated by increasing, increasingly more savage and brutal and cunning creatures.
Oh, ah, rats, rats, rats. Uh, I pulled the poison off over there. Wait, can you cancel your movement? Not really, stop doing that. Stop doing that. How do you cancel the movement? Oh, that's a lot of good stuff. Jackpot of items. I guess you can sell the mushrooms or recycle them. Yeah, probably we should recycle them for the colony. Let's it say what they give me. Stop glowing. <laughs> Wait, organic acid. That seems, sounds dangerous. Where is the mushroom? Oh, it's over here because you can eat it. It decreases your hunger but also your health. Yeah, I guess yeah, you can do that. Also, another fear of mine in a game like this is trigger. I'm afraid of triggering, let's say, an event like an attack or an ambush or stuff. Got that. It was not safe to gather another one. Breathe in, breathe out. Uh, yeah, I guess I should go and see if I can activate whatever is here. They said I should find another air filter. I found another one. Filter failure. Alright, but when the other bots are working overtime. Oh, you can slow down the contamination because of the air filter. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. So that means we can reduce the rate of infection on the level. Everyone will breathe a sigh of release. A relief. Broken air filter. Pollution or nano infection in a specific area. I have to activate all of them. Filter. Where is that air filter? Oh, it's a quest item, okay. So see if you, you can actually kind of restore this thing to full operation more or less so at some point you'll you'll be needing to make more resource runs and that means that means just an easier time for everyone if you can go back to the area and it's not completely destroyed by the mutants well i say completely destroyed but i mean populated so this is mine c Oh wait, so that's just another way out? East area mine C. It will probably lead to mine um, A again or something like that. Okay, I don't think we leave the mine in this episode. As you can see, we barely have enough time to play as it is. But yeah, we, we can make a lot of progress. Narrow pit.
What's the durability on my gun? 13. Flashlight was done for a while now. I wonder what those things are. I don't like it when you just find dead ends, at least they should lead to somewhere. Or a little bit of loot, eh? That was decent. I'm also afraid because it's showing me that I can go over there to go outside, but how? Red nano plant. Oh, okay, she have plants for nano. I also want to find another uh, power. I think this is almost done. Efficiency. I like it when I'm so efficient with my stuff. We can drive. I have a bad feeling about this. I just want to find the, the other power generator. But it seems we're just going deeper down a rabbit hole. Guys, the long hallway of death, doom, and despair, and loot. I guess I can arrange the items in a certain. This is this feels like Tarkov sometimes. Can I rotate the item? Probably not. Shiny shotgun. And now I see I shouldn't have brought the pistol with me. I guess it's the same size as a pipe, what I can see. Uh, no ammo though. Critical chance is 100%. Oh, this thing will shred up close. <laughs> we are finding treasures and interesting things along the way. Also, this is kind of concerning because if we find something like this, that means there will be something that will need a shotgun to be killed. Then, that area, mine A. Oh, it's already B02. I think we're just going to dip into the rabbit hole. Leisure. Oh, so this is B02, it's leisure activities. Not powered. I guess we'll end the episode over here because I'm not sure if we can power the elevator and go out, but also don't want to just go outside without powering the elevator because that would be a huge amount of time I would have to spend to come back. Looks like we're okay on oxygen and most of the other stuff, materials and other things. So we should be okay, toxic red fruit, red fruit, okay. Leaves. Toxic berries, everything is toxic here. It's like we're in a Britney Spears song. Anyway, see you next time. Bye-bye.